there was a baseball-sized mass on my brain. Had a biopsy just a couple of days later that revealed that it was stage four terminal brain cancer, glioblastoma. I did the standard treatment that was available at the time that included radiation, surgery, and chemotherapy. Then I was cancer-free until about a year ago, and more spots showed up on the scan, again, asymptomatic. And I had a biopsy done because the, the spots didn't look the same as they had looked at the original diagnosis or at the previous recurrence. And so the biopsy revealed in November of 2015 that in fact the cancer had returned. I wanted to continue to fight, I wanted to live, um, to continue to see my son, our son, grow up. And so we decided to pack up our things. I told the physician we're going to get a second opinion and we came out to Kansas City. Glioblastoma is a tumor that starts in the brain and typically doesn't go anywhere else. That's where it stays. It tends to be uh, invasive, meaning it grows into the brain um, and not just a mass that pushes things out of the way. Um, it tends to be a very fast-growing tumor as well and historically is very hard to treat. We pass a laser directly into the center of the tumor and kill the tumor with heat energy. We're able to watch this in real time on the MRI scanner, so when it gets to uh, the margins of the tumor, we can stop. And in her case, we treated one of the deeper lesions with that laser. The median survival, meaning half of the patients don't make it that long, and half the patients make it longer, is about 12 or 13 months. So far, she's responding fabulously. I mean, she uh, appears to have no untoward effects. Her scan shows that the tumor is really unable to be seen. There's some inflammation changes in there. Now, we're not fooling ourselves to think that this is uh, necessarily a cure, but we hope to keep the tumor at bay as long as possible, and who knows, she's lived 11 years. That's unheard of, really, in this tumor. I mean, we're talking, you know, one in perhaps 10,000 or more uh, make it this long with this kind of tumor. Even though it's an eight and a half hour drive or it's a flight to get here, it's well worth it um, to be this far out from the diagnosis. My prognosis was three to 12 months and it's been over 11 years. Um, that's a lot of trust, you know, to put your, hand, your life in the hands of physicians, but there's no other place I'd rather be. There is a reason to have hope and I'm a living, breathing proof of that.